Surgery can be done um, prenatally, um, although it's a very, um, uh, it's a controlled study. It's not just done anywhere. Um, it's, there is a, a study that's called the MOMS study, M-O-M-S, and that stands for Management of um, Myelomeningocele, Myelomeningocele Study. Um, that's what the acronym stands for, and it's, it's a randomized controlled study um, done at three centers in the United States. Um, one is at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, one is at Vanderbilt University, and one is at the University of San Francisco. Um, if a woman is pregnant and finds out she is carrying a baby with spina bifida, uh, she can contact the mom study and then from there, they determine whether she's eligible for the study, and if so, then it's a randomized um, choice whether she would be um, have surgery prenatally um, or wait until after the baby is born to have repair of the myelomeningocele. Um, the study is still in progress. They're looking for 200 um, uh, participants um, because the criteria is so strict. Um, and it's a big um, um, commitment on the, on the woman's part uh, because she has to live right near the center um, m most of her pregnancy if she is going to have the prenatal uh, repair. So it's a big commitment, so it's taking a long time to get the study completed, but um, it is still going on. Um, so those are the only times that you would get, have prenatal or fetal surgery repair of the myelomeningocele. No other sites are doing it. We are not doing it here at Children's Hospital. Um, uh, the other alternative is to have the surgery after the baby is born, and that's usually done um, within 24 hours um, of after birth. Um, and the neurosurgeon, um, does the surgery, uh, repairs, closes the defect. Um, the, there are times when um, the, de it is determined that the child needs to have a tube or a shunt placed um, because of fluid on the brain called hydrocephalus, um, which is a complication of this condition. And that happens in about 80% of the children. Um, now, they, the neurosurgeons are, are not always putting a shunt in at the initial closure. Um, sometimes they will close the back, observe the baby, and they might put a shunt in days later, weeks later, months later, um, but they tend to wait now and observe and see if that is going to be a problem for the baby, and if it is, then they will go ahead and place the shunt in the ventricle of the brain, uh, down through the uh, chest, in through the abdomen, and the extra fluid drains um, into the abdomen and is excreted or absorbed.